This is Andy, the robot that sweats. Researchers at Arizona State University are using Andy to study the impacts of extreme heat on the human body. With rising temperatures and intense heat waves increasing around the world, more people are feeling the effects of a warming climate. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says, on average, the United States records 702 heat-related deaths each year, and another 9,000 people are hospitalized. Could Andy help change that? The idea behind Andy is not new. Thermal dummies, also known as mannequins, are most commonly used by high-end performance apparel designers to optimize temperature control in garments. But this is one out of only two Andes being used by research institutions, and the first one that can be used outdoors. So there are some experiments you want to do with humans, and there's lots of them you really do not want to, because somebody could end up being hurt. So for example, nobody is measuring the core temperature increase of somebody getting a heat stroke. With the thermal mannequin, we can actually simulate the conditions and see how fast that core temperature is increasing. Andy has 35 different surface areas. Each one is individually controlled with temperature sensors, heat flux sensors, and pores to sweat. Together, researchers can simulate different weather conditions. So this is the climatic chamber where we control the temperature and humidity to reproduce any environment that exists on the Earth. So we can simulate over different wind, uh, air temperature and relative humidity. See that Andy is sweating through these micro pores, which is 140 of distributed on Andy's surface. And they sweat in a way that it mimics on the human body, like the distribution of pores in a way that some body parts sweats more and some body parts sweats less, similar to the human body. One of the main questions researchers want to answer is what happens to the body during a heat stroke? What we typically know is the state of the person as they arrive in the emergency room but could we learn what happened before and what were things that exacerbated this issue? And this could not only be, let's say, the average healthy adult, but it could be someone who's older, has a medical condition, or has taken substances that may alter, for example, how their skin blood flow occurs. 